Hi guys, this is Quoth, and here is a moment for the second slam session. So I already have another 50 items of the different value to slam, and I can't wait to start this. It's always fun. Let's see what we can do. Let's start with armors. First we'll go Scalders. I've got more enhanced defense. Mm, that's probably not interesting. Let's go with Gladsbane. I actually didn't see that they added critical strike. That's fun. And we got one trash socket, then skin of Viper Magi. It's almost exactly the same as the last one with 22. And <laughs> it went the same way as the brick. Amazing. Let's go with Durio Shell. Again, extra cold dress. That's funny, that happens I think second time as well. Spirit Ward. I've been using this on the Druid because it was actually nice for survivability, but so much strength requirement is a bit of a bummer. And we got more poison res. Well, I guess it will go to the trash. Alright, now I have some uh, bows and crossbows here. The demon machine. 71 to mana. Mm hmm. Widowmaker, maybe for some uh, crazy build again. Four sockets, wow! I like it actually. That's super nice. That's the maximum amount of sockets. Okay, this will go to the side. And then Blood Raven's Charge. This new item or new skin of the item looks super dope. It got a duck rating. Probably not so interesting. I have a few shields here, the Spike Torn and Gurkis. Let's go with the Spike Torn first. Two sockets. Hmm, that could be kind of a middle way um, before Storm Shield. Maybe somebody would be interested in that. Gurkis. Got more physical damage reduction. Hmm, not so good. Some belts, so Razor Tail. 10 Vitality, alright. I have two Taurasha's belts, let's start with 11% MF. This one got Fire Res, not something special. And this one got more Dexterity, I think plus 7, right? Yeah, exactly. Okay, let's move on to the Blade of Alibaba, I have two of them. To be honest, I don't know why I corrupt them, but <laughs> that's actually funny that it has three sockets as well. Okay. I didn't even need them. <laughs> Tron gloves. This one's got, ooh, eight more FCR. Damn, why didn't it roll nine? That would immediately close my need for the FCR on the Druid, because I just like 29 exactly. And with this I would have 80... no, 98. Hmm, but still it's a cool corruption. Laying of hands. Lightning resist, oops. Not so useful. The ghoul hides. I heard they are a little bit useful for the Declon find just because of the skellies there. Mm, yeah, they roll 2 to bow and crossbow skills, but no IS. 2 life stolen per hit on this laying of hands. Maybe I will give it to my mercenary. More useful than something that she has. Alright, some boots. The Gore Riders, Aldoris and Gore Food. I guess... Alders with cannot be frozen would be my preferable stuff. Okay. There they were. More enhanced defense on the Alders. And another attempt. Poison res. Wow. How many do I need to slam? How many boots do I need to slam to get anything? I guess that's a better shade of blue. Amunculus, this one rolled kind of low with 26. <laughs> I saw that his um, whiskey's changed. Alright, that's funny. 
Okay, now time for some helms. I have three G phase. Maybe with many sockets, not the trash socket. This IK helm has perfect MF. Had perfect MF. Spirit Keeper, one of the latest finds. Fortunately, only one druid skills. Maybe it's useful for some supporting builds. Indestructible. Cannot even be bricked. Okay, the Grease Corona. I tried to sell it for so long. I found it like on a day two. Nobody wants it. Even though it looks cool, but who cares, right? I guess it also wrote indestructible. Yeah. <sighs> the Ondos Almighty. This one with two skills actually looks nice and with FHR. Trash socket. Okay. It's a new new brick. Four mana stolen for G phase and okay, the third attempt on the G phase. Another thrash socket. Oop, oop. Two, amazing. All right, let's go through some uh, plus three amis. Increased chance of blocking. I don't think that's a go. Druid summoning. Rare amulet. Crescent moon. Again, I guess plus one to call skills basically denies the usefulness of it. I, I will not even keep it. The thorns. Bartux 2-2 two, two with uh, 5 life leech. More faster hit recovery, 20 more. That could be interesting. I'm not really a specialist now in the martial arts, but let's see. The Ondo's Wisdom. Again, two skills kind of sucks, but... <laughs> Alright, I need to say something positive before slamming. This Flame Bellow is amazing! 26 Holy Fire. Holy... Minus 8 to enemy fire res. Wow, that's actually interesting because it matches what it needs. That's nice. I'll keep it aside as well. This Impaler. Honestly, I don't know if it's worth anything or not, but it has 6 to jab and spear skills and 6 to jab, so it's practically 12 to jab. I mean, let's just roll 4 sockets. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> okay, Earth Shifter. 7 to elemental skills, but this item just doesn't make it, I think, for anything. And one thresh circuit, wow, alright. Not a big deal. Three to traps. We already rolled one with plus skill, and this one rolled rare. Combat skills. Found quite a few of them. With 27 MF. Mm hmm, that could be cool. Another combat skills attempt. 11 to strength. Well, that's probably not making it. Lightning skills. With maximum resistances. 2. Okay, I'll keep it aside. Maybe you guys can tell me if this is useful. I don't think Lightning Sword does Ubers or Declone, so probably not. And Wizard Spike. With two sockets. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe double listed. This could be just kind of a nice weapon to quickly run some meth or something like this. Okay, Town Rushes 2 2 1, and it rolls with 30 MF. <laughs> it's almost Oculus. Nice, okay. Flash Reaper. Low roll though on ED, but, anyways, faster cast rate. Nah. And yeah, let's go to the last couple of items. I have uh, these four, I guess. Okay, Light Cyber. Could be a middle option for some uh, Vengeance Paladins. Well, not this time, I guess. This Leviathan is pretty cool. 27% damage reduction and 44 to strength. And what do we get? Two sockets. Wow, wow. That's awesome. That's very, very decent armor. I might consider it putting it on my Merc, 
or just selling it. Okay, let's go with Triangle's belt. I use it right now, so don't turn any other color, please. Then FCR, woo hoo! <laughs> That's actually awesome. That is uh, very, very helpful. I think I could uh, exchange some of the rings or rearrange some stuff in, in my build. Nice, that's also a highlight. And lastly, this Shaco. This one wrote with 5 damage reduction, 41 MF, so pretty high. If it rolls, let's say, plus 1 skill, I will puzzle box it. And it's rolled with 2 sockets. Damn! <laughs> wow, it's okay. I think I am lucky today. Wow, okay. Let's look over the best um, things that we corrupted, in my opinion. So, the 2 socketed Leviathan. Pretty dope. Eight more castrate on Trangles. All right. Two socketed Shaco. Wow, of course, this is really good. Four socketed Widowmaker. Also pretty nice. The extra MF on the plus three combat pally amulet. This is really good. This one might be, don't know. And the 10 FCR Trangles belt. That's pretty good. It's almost as if you rolled, cannot be frozen on some rare belt with FCR. And lastly, this minus eight to enemy fire resistances flame bell. But um, yeah, I think there are no really candidates for slamming or sorry for puzzle boxing. So in this case, I would say we are done. And this was actually a really nice uh, session. I am pretty satisfied with the results. And again, hopefully anybody wants to buy anything, otherwise I will just again push it down to my free list, which you can find usually in the description of the video. Thank you very much, like the video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe if you want. See you next time, bye!